Hi, this is Richard Burke. I'm Principal French Horn for the Regina Symphony Orchestra in Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. I've been uh, working as Principal Horn full-time for 15 years now. Um, I was fourth horn in Sacramento Symphony from 1990 to 1996. Um, so I'm one of the few people that had a full-time fourth horn job and moved up to a principal job. There's at least one that are way more, one or two that are way more famous than I, if I'm famous at all. Uh, oh, and I'm very happy because I have a fall pocket of change. That's great. Underneath my rubber French horn knee pad. Before I show you the new horn, which I just got back, I'm going to show you the chromatic scale on my Finca triple horn with the high F. chromatic out scale on this horn but I've only had this horn since Friday April 13th after it was in the shop for six years this is a Crespi or Cruspa model Sansoni that has the normal three B flat horn valves an F extension which is this and a stopping valve which was nicely rebuilt using because the valve was missing when I got it um, I mean not the valve the key was missing so it's a nice spoon made into a valve key um, so there's one thing really cool about this horn on uh, Facebook chat I said this horn's hard to play this kind of horn is hard to play and in some ways it is uh, some ways it's not um, my low my F horn so I could go right on the F horn, but that's that's not. And I love the the big bell throat, but uh, using the valves. I think that's very cool to be able to go four for low C, concert F, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, that's the hard one, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So you're going four, three, two, open, four, three, two, open, three, two, open, like that. It's pretty cool. So that's easy, kind of. So you're not, I'm not used to using my pinky much. But then if I'm trying to go, see, that's, that's G, and that's better than this G. See, that's really sharp. This is better in tune, and that's why it's there. Because the low, that F below middle, F sharp below middle C, this is too, the short valve is too short. Especially on the F horn, so I have to go and use the stopping valve to get F sharp. And then G sharp is the jump there, so I'm doing this cross fingering. F sharp, G, G sharp, A here. See, I find that very hard. And therefore, that's why I said this horn's hard to play. There's some funky fingers that I'm not used to, and I think the rule that I believe in is to do a fingering perfectly automatically, you have to do it at least 500 times. So I recommend to my students, like, that kind of thing, and then to get the aid of the G sharp, and then, and I think that's hard. Because I don't, I 
I'm not used to using my picky. And then, then that's totally easy. And then, but, see, so that's hard. And I'm not used to it yet. I will be practicing over and over to learn my fingerings on this. Oh, and then, hmm, it is. I played the bass on it, but. Jets if I could be agile enough. So there it is, my Sansoni model Cruspa. French horn. Thanks for watching today.